Have you ever prayed But never got an answer And wondered if God was really there Did you feel all hope was gone But in his time he came along And answered the prayer you thought was gone Just what you want But he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer to Just exactly what we need There is no prayer to song For God hears them all The answer may not be just what you want But He always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to discuss something with you. Let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You try lifting your lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from doing that. You try banging on the lid to unsettle the dirt. Maybe somebody will start digging their way down towards, towards you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you're abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose? and take something away that God had given to you, called life. And if that's not selfish enough, you're taking your life away from the people that love and count on you most. For an example, people like your mother, your father, brother, sister, husband, wife. More importantly, your children, and even more importantly, your grandchildren. 
with this. Let me leave one last thought with you. Don't be like the person I just read about on these index cards that waited and waited and waited until it was way too late. Instead, pick up the phone and give me a call at 844-405-HELP. And I promise you, I will help you take your life back before your life is gone. People like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-4582-741. Larry Geis and I always tell folks like you, it doesn't matter where you've been. And it definitely doesn't matter where you came from. What matters is that you're here looking for a better today and a brighter tomorrow. Larry Geis can be found at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis will take you from reco- uh, from addiction to recovery, from depression to, ha- uh, to happier times, from low self-esteem to raising your self-esteem. Larry Geist, 516-458-2741. Folks, when you take your slippers off at night, don't put them by the edge of your bed. Stick them under your bed, about half arm's length under your bed. That way, in the morning, when you wake up, when God allows you to see, like streams like that and waterfalls, you will be forced to get down on your knees to look for those slippers. You're looking under the bed. There they are. Retrieve them while you're on your knees. Ask God for guidance and direction for the day today and for the rest of the week. Thank God for having a home, the bed you just climbed out, the slippers you're ready to put on your feet, the food and the relationship in your life. Ask God for guidance, direction, forgiveness, and mercy. Utilize that time and call it knee mail. K N double E mail. Knee mail is when you're on your knees and you speak to God directly. It's your instant message from your lips to God's ears each and every day. You might not see results right away, but the power of prayer will come through for you. You just need to be faithful, you need to be committed, and you need to do it each and every day. Knee mail. Put on those slippers and walk with God 24 7. Ten signs that it's time for you to go to rehab. You know that things have gotten really bad in your life, but they are actually, I'm sorry, bad enough to warrant checking into a rehab, you might ask. Well, let's look into that. Here's the truth. In America, some 22.7 million individuals need treatment for drug and alcohol abuse. But every year, less than 1% receive the help that they truly need. You don't need to be physically addicted to a substance to need rehab. If substance abuse is causing negative effects in your life, it's time to take a closer look. And here are 10 signs that you, my friend, can't afford to wait any longer. Number one, you have driven a car while intoxicated or high. It might not seem like a big deal at the time. It never does. But driving while drunk, buzzed, or even high is very real danger to everyone in your car and on the road with you, regardless of how experienced of a driver you think you are. In fact, according to the drugabuse.org, excuse me, .gov, in 2010, more than one quarter of drug drivers in fatal accidents were 50 years or older, if you are unable to manage your behavior under the influence, it's time to get help. Alcohol abuse, rehab, might be necessary. Number two, your doctor tells you that you have health issues caused by your drug and or alcohol problems. Drugs of all kinds will be harmful to your body over an extended period of time. For example, alcoholism causes severe damage to the heart, the brain, and the liver. Opiate abuse can slow down your breathing to a point of permanent brain damage. Repeated use of some stimulants can cause cardiovascular failure and psychosis. If you inject drugs, the needles you can, uh, that you use increase the risk of contacting deadly diseases like HIV and hepatitis C. If your drug or alcohol use is causing tangible effects on your health, your body is telling you loud and clear it is not doing well. Don't ignore those signs. They're necessary to be checked into. Number three is your friends and family have asked you to stop drinking or using drugs. The people who know you best may be asking you to stop using, and likely with good reason. It's easier to change 
uh, and changes in your life from the outside. If those close to you are concerned, you should, I repeat, you should be very alarmed. Number four, you're experiencing withdrawal symptoms when you stop taking your drugs or alcohol of choice. If you get headaches, nausea, cramps, insomnia, paranoia, irritability, or have other ills within a few hours after your last hit to drink, it's going to get worse. These withdrawal symptoms are how addiction strengthens its hold on the person. You can't let it get stronger or you can fight back now. A detox, a detox program can help you get through withdrawal period while offering medication to ease the worst of it. Then, a treatment program will help you stay sober in the long term. Number five, your freedom has been threatened due to choices you've made under the influence. Maybe you've been arrested for driving drunk or under the influence of being drunk in public, violence or possession of a controlled substance. If you are already on probation or parole, parole police contact due to being under the influence is often enough to put you behind bars. Is avoiding a 30-day treatment worth doing all that jail time for a few years or even more? Number six, you have harmed yourself or others while under the influence. Certain drugs, my friends, can cause an increase in depression and other mental illnesses. If you've had suicidal thoughts, harmed yourself while using as a result of using or harmed someone else, you need to get help right now. No matter how hopeless it feels, depression and other mental Illnesses can be treated. You can escape the cycle and learn to live a fulfilling life again. Number seven, you have lost your job, been kicked out of school due to drug and or alcohol related issues. You might have started with without a major consequences, a missed class, a late assignment at work, arriving tardy once and or twice. But over time, the offenses grew and they grew and they became out of control. If you're afraid of losing your job or if you've already have lost your job, take a step back, re-check yourself into your personal inventory and double check your drug and alcohol use. Getting help now may be your best chance of holding on to your job if you still even have it or uh, uh, getting um, uh, back into the school of things. Number eight, you have tried to quit but have been unable to do so for any meaningful length of time. Maybe you've tried to cut down your using but you found that you couldn't. This means your body is physically addicted to the substance and or alcohol and you need to get help today. Treatment works. Don't wait for the addiction to get worse or out of control. Number nine, you've lied about your drinking or your drug use. Maybe you think it's none of uh, anyone's business and that you've got it under control on your own. I don't think you do. But people don't lie unless they have something to hide. You don't have to keep building the walls around yourself. You don't need to lie anymore. When you accept that you need help kicking this thing, the walls come down and your freedom is on the other side. Number 10, you want to stop drinking or using drugs, but you don't know how to. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Hangovers, withdrawal, constantly thinking about where to get the next hit and when you'll be able to drink or use drugs again. It's exhausting, my friends, but you can't figure out how to actually get out of it. The thing is, addiction is a medical disorder, which means getting clean on your own is ridiculously hard. Not everyone can do it. Needing professional treatment doesn't mean that you are a failure. It means that you're smart enough to reach for help. It only means you have an addiction, and luckily, addictions are entirely treatable. Stop the cycle today. If you or someone you care about needs treatment for a drug or alcohol addiction, reach out. Call me at 844-405-HELP. I, will, uh, I um, might not be qualified in every sense, but I do have qualified people on standby to answer your questions and find a treatment plan that's right for your situation. Call me, 844-405-HELP, and let me help you take your life back.
was really there Did you feel all hope was gone But in his time he came along And answered the prayer you thought was gone There is no prayer to song For God hears them all The answer may not be just what you want But he always knows what's right even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer to small I have a ready for you We'll ask you shall receive No matter what it is I steal is just exactly what we need. There is no prayer to song, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you want, but He always knows what's right.